Le'e Abdurrahman Ibrahim Musa, a three-year-old Palestinian receiving medical treatment in Doha, has died. Qatar announced on Monday the arrival of a fifth group of injured Palestinians from Gaza to Doha. And finally, in a closed-door meeting, Benjamin Netanyahu pushes for what he calls the voluntary migration of Palestinians in Gaza to other countries. Hey everyone, it's Fakhria for the Roundup, and here are today's top stories. Qatar's community mourns the death of Lu'ay Abdurrahman Ibrahim Musa. He was three years old. The Palestinian toddler was in Qatar without his family, receiving much-needed medical care after sustaining injuries from an Israeli attack in Gaza. He was laid to rest in Doha's Mesamia Cemetery on Tuesday at 5 p.m. Qataris took to X to convey their condolences. Since October 7th, Israel has killed over 20,000 Palestinians in Gaza, the majority being civilian women and children. And now, Doha received a fifth group of injured Palestinians from Gaza on Monday. The safe arrival of the Palestinians was facilitated in cooperation with Egypt, Qatar's foreign ministry said. This drive to treat the besieged enclaves wounded is part of the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani's initiative to have 1,500 Palestinians receive medical attention in Doha. In a post via X on Sunday, the World Health Organization's chief, Dr. Tedros Adahom Ghebreyesus, decried Israel's dissemination of Gaza's health sector as a tragedy. And finally, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has reportedly discussed expelling Palestinians from Gaza, a move that would amount to a war crime. On Tuesday, reports emerged that Netanyahu and Likud party lawmakers discussed forming a committee to facilitate Palestinians migrating to other countries. Netanyahu reportedly said that there is a lack of country that would be willing to, quote, absorb Palestinian refugees. Many countries, such as the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Egypt and Jordan, the latter two bordering Palestine, have denounced such rhetoric, emphasizing the importance of Palestinians remaining in their land. If forcibly actioned, the Norwegian Refugee Council's Secretary General, Jan Egerland, warned that the removal of Palestinians from their land would amount to a war crime. And that's it for today. For more information, make sure to check out the website or download the app.